Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this demo, I am going to demonstrate how using Azure boards, you will be able to plan and track your Azure projects. I have logged into the Azure DevOps. So let us first create a project. We'll call it as a demo project. So we will leave this project as a private project then click advanced azure devops supports two different types of version control one is the kit which is the distributed version control another one is the team foundation version control which is generally called as tfvc which is the centralized version control so we will use only git so let's leave it as git and then we are going to select agile here so default is basic but we are going to today using the use the agile process so now click create project so the new demo project has been successfully created so now let's get started with the boards so here you have an option where you will be able to invite other people to this demo project let's go to the boards okay so as part of the agile project you will have different type of work items which can be created so one is the epic the next one is the feature so epic is in the very high level which has a broader scope and then feature will be of like which comes under the epic but the scope is little bit limited compared to the uh, epic and then as part of the feature we will have the user stories and the user stories will have task right so let's get started by creating an epic okay for the purpose of the demo i am going to create an uh, epic so which is about right uh, so actually i am working on publishing multiple devops related videos so that i will just put as a my epic devops videos right because this has a broader scope uh, because we will be able to publish aws related aws devops related videos and azure devops related videos or the cloud agnostic uh, pipeline like github videos and you, you can cover many things right so in the epic level it's a broader scope so i'm just creating an epic with a name as like devops videos okay so i'm going to give the description as publish devops related videos okay and this state is new so because we are just creating it new right so the state is new and then the reason is also new which it's something because we are just creating newly right and the area is the demo project and the iteration is the demo project we will see about the iteration little later right and then you will be you can give the assign the priority for this particular epic so the by default the priority is given as two if you want we can change it to the different priority and then the risk so what is the risk so let's put as okay it's a medium risk right and what is the effort needed so probably the effort needed is going to be maybe 50 days or something like that right let's put as 50 and what is the business value and what is the time criticality is there a specific reason like you wanted to deliver this on a specific time right and you can give a start date and end date right for this particular epic when you wanted to get this uh, particular to be get over so let's say right okay it's getting started by today and then maybe the target date you can give after a couple of months right so maybe i'll say okay june 1st is my target date right and you can classify whether this is something related which is going to help the business or it's an architectural so we will leave it as business right and then here you have an option to add the de any development link because it's like azure boards and azure repos or the github it can work hand in hand so you will be able to link the work what you're doing as part of this uh, particular epic we would you'll be able to add the link to it and also you will be able to add the link i mean for example this what we are creating is an epic right so obviously the epic is going to comprise of multiple features so it's like they will be having the parent and child relationship so you will be able to add a link here you'll be able to create a new item and then you will be able to link it first let's save this epic okay so we have saved this epic again here we have an option this provides the details and then here you have an option which gives you the information on what is the history and the other informations right the state graph whether it is currently it is in new state whether it is moving to a different state so all these things you'll be able to see 
since now we have created the epic so you'll be able to change the states we can make it as an active and once everything is done you'll be able to move it to resolved and then get it closed and all these states can be changed right and then here you have an option if you wanted to add any link you'll be able to add it here if you wanted to add any attachments that can be done here right and if you wanted to uh, follow and get all the uh, information related to this particular epics you can just click follow on this right and then here you have the settings options so so this allows you to say right okay now you are following you have subscribed it and if you wanted to have the notifications based on whenever the certain state changed whether iteration changed do you want to get notified all those things you will be able to configure here by selecting the custom right cancel and then here uh, this is about the notification change and if you wanted to refresh you'll be able to refresh and stick and here again we have an option right because we created this particular work item as an epic and later you decided okay i wanted to change the type here you'll be able to change the type click change the type and then you'll be able to change to a different type that is also possible here right and if you wanted to uh, create a copy of this work item you'll be able to do it and if you wanted to email this work item to somebody that you'll be able to do it if you want to delete or you wanted to create a new branch so all these things you will be able to do as part of this particular work item okay right now let us use this particular ring related work link and then we will be will create a feature so we are going to add new item right so you are going to select the work item as a feature okay and the title i am going to this is particular feature is for publishing the azure devops related videos right so i'm going to create azure devops videos okay so here the command what i'm going to give us publish azure devops videos okay then click ok right so now we have we are creating a new feature so again it is not saved so you have this option so here again you can add the description as right azure devops videos okay publish azure devops videos okay so again here you'll be able to set the priority the risk right so all these what is the effort needed so everything we can specify and probably you wanted to uh, specify the start date right we'll give the same start date and then we'll give the date because if this is a small feature which is coming part of the epic so we will not give uh, a longer duration we'll just give it it's a I mean 15 days or something like that right and we'll leave it like this right we will save and close and if you wanted to provide any information to the uh, because generally the epics and the features are created by the product owners if they wanted to give more information to the scrum master or other people they can add that in the discussion thread let's save and close right and clearly you can see right it has one link so that is the link is about the feature right so we'll go back to the work items and you can see now currently we have one epic and one feature okay so here also you will be able to click this and you'll be able to add a feature to it let's add one more feature okay and then if you want you can assign to the user right and then again you can just give the description so this is about this new feature it's we are talking about publishing an aws devops videos so publish aws devops videos okay and then again you will give the same risk as medium and what is the effort needed 10 and probably will give the start and end date it is march 2nd and then we'll say it is going to it should get over in a week's time right uh, so this is what we are going to do so we have done it let's save this particular feature also right uh, we'll go back to the work items right so now we have two features created and one feature we have assigned the other feature we have not assigned and then we have the epic is also on us let's add now let's add a user story so let's create click a user story so this user story is primarily it's for like azure boards right so we'll give it as azure because as part of the azure boards we have uh, many categories so we'll give it as azure boards right and the description will put us publish azure boards videos boards video okay and here when you when it becomes a user story right so we will have a provide need to provide an acceptance criteria uh, so acceptance criteria so what we are going to put is right okay 
uh, covers all the features of Azure Boards. So we wanted to create video which covers all the features of the Azure Boards, right? Again, we can give this uh, story points. Okay, it's going to take two days. I'll put the story point this. And if there is going to be any risk, yeah, you can just put that and the business. Thing. First, let's save the user story, right? And then now we are going to create subtask. So the, generally the developers, they will be creating the task because the user stories might be created by the scrum master or the leads. So, but the, when the developer, they are going to start the work. So they will break it down the user story into further task. Okay. So let's also create some two task add link. So we are going to create a new item. So this is going to be the child for the user story and it will be a task. So here it is. Uh, uh, so the first task is going to be understand Azure boots feature okay so click ok so we have created one task understand azure boards feature right because before we publish the meeting you first we need to understand what are the features azure boards has right uh, description again it is going to remain the same so let me just copy paste this okay and then again it is like activity so you'll be able to select right so this is either it is what, what type of activity it is is it going to be it's like deployment design development right so we will put this as a requirements right because we are going to try and understand right so what are the feature it has so that you'll be able to collect all the requirements and then generate the videos right so what is the effort estimate for that so probably okay we'll put four hours right and how much is completed because we are just going to start so we'll just uh, put uh, a four hours right and then we'll save it right so now we have the one task associated with this user story. That's why you are seeing this, right? So now let's add an another child to it, right? Add link. So again, a new item. So this is again, this is about create video, right? First we have understood and now we are creating video. Click OK. So now we are going to create the video. So create Azure Boots video. Again, the, this activity is going to be the, the development activity because you are going to do the creation of a video, right? And again, it will put it as four hours, right? And then we'll save and close, right? So now let's go back to the work items. So we can see, right? So we have created one epic, two features, right? One is Azure DevOps videos, another one is AWS DevOps one user story right which is part of the azure devops videos feature right and we have created two tasks so that tasks are part of the azure boards video user story okay so now so we have created all these things so let's go and see what are the other options available here right you'll be able to filter it based on okay i wanted to see only the epic you'll be able to just filter and see that and then again you have the other filtering options assigned to to whom it has been assigned and then you'll be able to uh, see right so it is like uh, states which state you want to see that data because since everything is in new because you have only that option to select new and then to which area they belong to and if any tags you have added so you'll be able to filter it based on the tags right and then you'll be able to have the the column options so you can decide on right which columns you wanted to actually show and how you wanted to sort it which one which column you wanted to see first second and all those things right and then you'll be able to import the work import the data which is coming from the in from your csv file if you have your data in your csv file you'll be able to import it right so let's go back to the work items right okay so next is we will go and see the boards right so the boards so this is it it's it's just follow the same pattern as a kanban board so here you can see right so here uh, again there is an option where you'll be able to select the features or stories so here you are seeing right okay the stories uh, select so now you can see there is only one item one user story and which is there in the new state you will be able to drag and drop to any other state and automatically the state changes the state gets updated right and here you have an option where you will be able to see right okay if you wanted to edit the title if you wanted to move to an iteration so all these things you will be able to do it here and you wanted to add a task bug right so all these things you will be able to 
do it here or if you just wanted to open this so you'll be able to open and see that particular user story okay and similarly you'll be able to do the same thing for the features as well so again you can use this filter and you'll be able to filter based on the different criterias okay so now let's move on to the backlogs so the backlog has the information about the the different work items which are there in the backlog so again you can click features and you'll be able to see the the features which is there in the backlog and in the planning this thing you'll be able to see in the right hand side you'll see that uh, uh, this is part of the demo project team backlog and this is the iteration right so this is marked as a current iteration uh, so and by default it is having the name as a iteration one two and three right uh, so next is like here also you will be able to uh, create a new work item and the the other options other features what you see in other pages uh, so next before uh, so let's we have not set any specific uh, duration for the iteration so let's go and do that let's go to the project settings and then the team configuration click iterations so here you will be able to in the iteration sections you will be able to see about what is the default iteration so if you want you can change it uh, so similarly here also you will be able to change the backlog iteration and then here we have not specified any start or end date so you'll be able to just edit it and then you will be able to specify a start and end date okay so we will ensure that it is a one week iteration so we will show it as like it's starting today and it's going to end in a week right so we'll save and close right let's go back to the backlogs right so now you'll be able to see that it is having a specific iteration duration and it is a five working days so if you wanted to because always it considers monday to friday as a five working days so if you wanted to change this then again you can go to the settings team configuration right so here the working days is considered as monday to friday but if you wanted to change you can if you wanted to add saturday to it that you'll be able to do it now let's uh, go back to the uh, boards and assign the iteration information to the specific task okay okay move to iteration the current iteration so we have moved this particular story to this current iteration okay now let's go to the sprints right so now since we have moved the uh, particular story to this iteration you can see as part of the task board you can see that okay so there there is one user story which is an active state which is part of this particular sprint iteration right and then you can see there are two uh, tasks which are unassigned and which are uh, in the new state so you'll be able to move this task to the different state so we have moved this particular task to the active state okay so here again you can uh, click the back uh, here we can see the backlog information it's the same information what we saw earlier right then the capacity so you can say right okay uh, so what is activity assigned to them what they are going to do right so it is okay requirements the capacities maybe they are going to work for four hours and then you will be able to add the similar things you will be able to add user and then you'll be able to add the capacity to it right so you'll be able to add an another activity and then say okay they are going to do the development and that capacity is for four right okay so let's just save this right and then in analytics section you will be able to see the burn down chart right so since we have added the task specific to this and it is like we we have not started any work on it so that's why it is showing like this right we are uh, zero percentage is completed so based on um, how we are completing the burn down chart will show the progress here so what we need to see is the queries right so here you'll be able to because see in our case we just created uh, one epic and couple of features but in ideal scenario you will be having a number of epics and features right so obviously at any point uh, it would be difficult to uh, traverse through all those in work items and find what you need so that's why the query comes into help right you'll be able to click a query and then you can find any work item based on the state probably i'll just click active and then i will run the query and then i will see the work items which are currently in the active yes we have one user story in active state as well as the one task in the active state okay and you'll be able to email this query and you'll be able to copy this query url and if you wanted to export uh, to a csv so you'll be able to export this query output to a csv okay uh, so in this demo we have seen 
how using Azure boards you'll be able to plan your work and you'll be able to track the work. Thanks for watching the demo.